In future segments, we will be covering gin matchups for Tekken 7, but before we get to the real deal, we have a short little guide to fill in blanks from all of Eddie Wang's previous tech and tutorial videos, and for referencing in the matchup guides where we will further explore the risks and rewards of punishment. The goal of this guide is to help turn any beginning gin players from this to the next upcoming Jin God. I'm just Julie and welcome to Jin School, Lesson in Punishment. Playing neutral might be one of the most difficult things to do in Tekken. It requires movement, it requires judgment, and it requires the right reactions. What decides how a Tekken game goes from there is punishment. It might sound a little weird, but try to think of Tekken like a match between Jet Li and Chin Siu Ho in the Fist of Legend movie. Punishment with Jin always has its own risks and rewards. For now, we'll consider four moves that employ four different ways to approach punishing whips. Back to one, the easiest mode. Jin can whip punish by using back to one through spacing or after sidesteps, but it's only plus two on hit. While it's the easiest punish to apply, it really doesn't scare the opponent very much. It does have its uses, but it's not optimal in the long term since in many matchups, Jin wants to stay far away and back to one leaves him very close, even on hit. However, because it is plus two, it can be helpful with his shimmy game. 2-4 is the commitment punish. 2-4 is just as easy as back to one, but it can be risky. While it ensures a knockdown on hit, the second hit is easily ducked and launched if the opponent blocks the jab. Pretty big commitment. Still. It's no harder than back to one and leads to a knockdown game. In this shimmy game, its ease of use means Jin can sidestep jabs and then 2-4, just like in Fist of Legend where linear moves are mostly stepped. Forward 4 to Zen on hit. This is much harder than the previous ones, and while it is almost the same thing, the main reason to use forward 4 is getting mix-up games with crouch dash 4 and zen cancels. It could backfire if the opponent blocks, but if not, you can get good options. If you find that your opponent has trouble reacting to zen mix-up, forward 4 is an excellent tool to abuse. Electric whiff punishing. This is the best option for punishing. While it doesn't deal with lows, Crouch Dash 1 will cover that. Electric Wind Hood Fist animation is just as fast as any jab and is plus 5 if blocked. On hit, it grants Jin a full combo, which can steal life leaves. And while it is high, the real challenge to using this move as a whiff punishment is in its execution. A player needs to be confident and prepared enough to execute an electric as fast as possible in order to clip anything including jabs on whiff. For this reason, Jin players need to spend hours in practice mode honing their electrics on either side. Eddie Wang has a great electric exercise video which shows a good routine for back dashing and sidestepping. Be sure to learn to space properly and be ready to step into a perfect position and immediately electric. You want opponents to fear you and hesitate to throw anything at Jin while he's doing wave dashes. Yes, it can be super difficult for beginners to get consistent, but there is no shortcut. You just have to practice. Eddie's tips for learning electrics are usually the same. Hit down, forward, and two at the exact same time at the end of the electric motion. Having difficulty? Well, if down two comes out, it means you hit the punch too early, and if you were too late, you'll get a non-electric wind hook fist. It might help to learn to do multiple wave dashes to get a feel for the motion, then try to press the two button right after you tap forward. Uh, don't stop the electric motion, of course. Hey everyone! This video was narrated by Just Julie, scripted and edited by Eddie Wang, and supervised by Ghost. We really hope you enjoyed this content, and please like and subscribe to help the channel grow so more gym players can find their way home. Don't forget to practice your execution so you can perform better whenever you play. Bye!